So for this session, we're going to be talking about pivot tables. And we have a table here uh, that contains the company name, country, salesperson, order ID, uh, sales date. We got the product name, the unit price, quantity, and extended price. So we want to use this um, table here to create our pivot tables. But we want to start by defining what a pivot table is. Um, a pivot table is a cross tabulation of the table fields. If you cross tabulate these fields and then you make a report, that is going to be a pivot table. Um, so uh, I want us first to understand how and or under what situations should you create a pivot table. So what, if you're given data like this and then you're told um, to answer this question, how much does each salesperson made from this product? So we got several salespeople here. So how much of these salespeople made from selling each product that is a question that you can answer but for you to answer that question easily then you need to create a, a pivot table or if you are asked um can you be able to tabulate the sales per country we got a country here so how much are we making per country how much sales are we making for argentina uh for germany for finland so you need to create a pivot table. So for us to be able to create a pivot table, this is what you do. Uh, uh, go to the inside uh, tab on the ribbon. Go to the inside tab on the ribbon. And then top left, you'll be able to see the pivot table. So click on the pivot table. Click on the pivot table. So go to the inside then click on pivot table. Once you click on the pivot table, one thing that you're going to notice is that you will have running hands all over your, your table. So you can see the running hands showing that the whole table has been selected. In short, you are going to create a pivot table from the table that has been selected here. If just in case your whole table is not selected, then you have to select the whole table, but this rarely happens. Excel has got some kind of an intelligence and then you should be able to notice that you want to create a people table from this table. The next thing, uh, you have to choose where you want the people table report to be placed. Uh, you can choose if you want this to be done on a new worksheet or if you want this to be done on a already existing worksheet. I prefer having the people report on a new worksheet. So you can click new worksheet, then OK. So once you click OK, uh, this is the interface that you're going to get. Here we got a people a report that is empty. And on the right side, you got the pivot table fields. These are the column headers. So we got the company name, um, country, salesperson, sales ID, sales date, our product date, product name, unit price, quantity, and extended price. These are the table columns. And then you still have some fields or some panes here. We have um, the filters, we got the columns, are we got the rows together with the values. And for the values, you can see the summation, meaning that uh, you have to have values here, or like numerical columns. So uh, the first thing that I want us to understand is how to use these uh, four panes. For the filters, this seems like is self-explanatory. So if you want to extract the data based on a criteria, you are going to drop that field on the filters. So for example, if we want to see a specific company 
then you're going to have the company name uh, on the filters. We're going to see that just in a moment. So let us try to create a pivot uh, report or a pivot table to answer our question. Our question was, we wanted to know how much each salesperson has meant from the products. So we have salespeople, we have products, and we got the extended price. Those are three columns that you need to drag and drop. But for us to be able to create the uh, appropriate report, we need to drag these fields to, uh, to the correct panes. So um, we have salespeople and we have the product. For our table to make sense, then probably we would have the product name on the rows. So when you drag the product name on the rows, then we are going to have every product on, on its own row. All right, that looks better. So we have um, a small table here with um, the products on the rows. The next thing that we can do is have uh, the sales person on the columns. So every sales person becomes a column. So we have a column for Alvin Wilson, all the way I did the last person who is Smith Ferguson. So our table looks like um, it is um, almost ready, only that we don't have values into the table. And what values do we really need inside the table? Remember, we are talking about the price of these items. So we need to have this extended price. So what you need to have is the extended price on the values. So you're going to draw, drag and drop, just drag and drop. Just to drag and drop. So you're going to have the extended some uh, the extended price on um, on the values, and once you drop the extended price on the on um, on the values, then you're going to see everything is going to change. That you have some of the extended price. Sum it is a function that is used to summarize these values. So these values have been summarized using or have been summarized using the function sum. If you want to change uh, the formula. Uh, for which you want to uh, summarize these values, there are several ways in which you can do that. One, you can click on these values, click on the individual values, then you can you can drop out to where you have summarized values by. You want to summarize them by average, you click on average, product, you can click on product maximum or whatever function that you want to use. But by default, sum is going to be the function that is used to summarize values. So we have a table like this. And using this table, you can see that uh, somebody like Alvin Wilson has been able to sell 2,000 from a drug. Somebody like uh, Janet uh, Levlin, uh, she has been able to sell um, a drug worth 6,000 uh, US dollars. Very easy, but we have a very good report. What is missing in this table is all these values belong to all the companies. What happens if you want um, products and salespeople that belong to a certain organization or some certain company? In that case, we are going to involve the filters. So we're going to go to the filters and we drag the company name and dra drop it on the filters. So we got the company name on the filters. Once you drop the company name on the filters, then you'll be able to see that we have a filter on top, which is going by the name company name. If you click on the drop down. You'll be able to see that you can be able to select if you want other supermarkets. 
then these are the products and sales people from Alpha Supermarket. If you want global IT, these are the products and sales people from Alpha or from global IT. Just in case you want to select multiple items, you have to check this. You check, you check this so that you can be able to select a number of companies at the same time. A slicer can be used on behalf of a filter. So if you want to insert a slicer from uh, the table that we have, what you need uh, to do is um, click on the pivot uh, table report, then go to analyze, you'll be able to see insert slicer here. So click on the insert slicer. This is the interface that you're going to get. All the table fields will be here for you to select. So select the filter that you want to have. So for example, in this case, we, we have selected the company name is a slicer. So if you click OK, then you have all the companies in form of a small table here. With that, you can be able to resize. So I can resize this. Um, and then you can just use this as a, a filter. So you can see it is better than as, even as a filter. So when you click on Global IT, you'll be able to see the products and the salespeople from Global IT. Same to Lifeline Health Center. Same to Mark Healthcare. Same to Rocks Luxurious Hotel. If you, just in case you want to select more, um, company at the same time. Then you have to click on this. Then you can be able to select as many items as possible. That is the use of a filter. In case you want to do away with the selection or you want to do, to do away with the filter, then you have to clear the filters by by clicking this then your table is back to normal. In case you want to click on the, you want to delete the filter, click on the filter, then press delete.